Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. We are back with the second episode of the day. It's a good one. We're going to get into the 10, the Tim Zoo $10 million offer from his promotional company. But before we get into that, please like and subscribe, share on all forms of social media, 3D Boxing, sorry about that, 3D Boxing blog. Um, quick hits comes at you twice a day, every day, eight to ten minutes. Eight to ten minutes a day just to keep you up to the latest on uh, all the news, rumors, and uh, everything in the boxing world. We did so early today on the Prospect of the Month, Carlos Carballo. Um, check that out. Um, there's also a story up on that on 3dboxingblog.com. Um, and also, before we get started, um, the Autism Community in Action, Taka, T-A-C-A, the Autism Community in Action is a charity that's near and dear to our hearts. It is National Autism Awareness Month. Um, there's a link um, in the description. If you can share it, that'd be great. Uh, that's you know, if you can, if you have the funds, if you if you have the ability to please donate to the Autism Community in Action Taka. It's a really worthwhile charity. Uh, let's get started. Let's get started. Um, like I said, the, today's topic is Tim Zoo, and this is an interesting one. This just broke a little while ago. Um, the son of legendary Costa Zoo, um, and, and look, Tim Zoo is a legendary. He's not Matthew, ha not Matthew Hatton. <laughs> he's not Campbell Hatton. He's not Chavez Jr. He's not uh, Shane Mosley Jr. This is a real fighter. Uh, Costa Zoo is an ex. Uh, Costa Zoo. Costa Zoo is a legendary fighter. Costa Zoo is one of the great 140 fighters of all time. But Tim Zoo is a legitimate fighter. He's a legitimate threat at 154. He's got good wins over Jeff Horn. He's got good a good win over Hogan. He's a he. He's real. Okay. He's and he's beat up a bunch of cab drivers. Um, but this guy's not a bum. Okay. So for him getting a title shot, he's earned it. He's his own man. He's not Campbell Hatton. He, he's his own man. He, he, he's earned it himself. Um, and I, I want to read this. Um, they're ready to spend $10 million on a title fight, right? Um, it's announced that, okay, so it said, promoter Greg Rose of No Limit Boxing believes it's going to cost around $10 million, that's U.S., to bring a world title fight to Australia, and he's ready to pay that sum. It's around that figure, he said. It's just what we have to do to make things happen. Rose told the Sun Herald, the way I see it, <clears throat> the world title has to be out here in Australia. That's the situation. We're in, uh, we're in, and that's what we need to come in to, with to make it happen. We want the world title, and we want it in Australia. So they seem completely dedicated to this. Um, this is not pie in the sky. This is not, you know, this seems legitimate. Like, um... Oh, wrong one. This seems legitimate. Um, Ten million dollars will do it. Like if you're like, so, Castano is going to fight uh, Charlo um, for the undisputed crown. If whoever wins that, especially if it's Castano, I offer you ten million dollars to come to Australia. They're going to take it. <laughs> it's way too much money for them not to. Right, especially on a guy that they don't. They probably don't consider that much of a threat. Like, I think T Z Zoo is good. I don't think he'd beat either of those guys yet. Um, but he's he's a legitimate challenger. He's a top 10 guy at 154. 154 is a loaded division. Now he's bottom top 10, and those guys are 1 and 2. But if, if they want to bring that belt here, it's going to cost them $10 million. And they seem willing to do it. And it will, $10 million-ish will bring him here. So, guys, we're going to get... Um, the winner of, and I, I think he's going to take a tune-up in the interim. I do. Um, you know, I, I don't know who it would be. Lubin? I mean, not Lubin. Goucher? Can he beat Goucher? If he can beat Goucher. I wish Issei Smith was still around because, you know, that's always a good guy to test yourself with. Um, 
I don't know who they're going to throw in front of him. Teixeira. I mean, there's guys that they can throw at him. Um, see how he does. Wendy Toussaint. Um, if he can beat those guys, then he's on his way. You'll let him. And that's Toussaint. They want to give him a veteran. You know, throw me some names. In the, throw me some names in the comments. Who, who, who do you think is a good step up uh, after Hogan for him? Spike O'Sullivan? He'll go down to 154 again. Um, guys, guys like that. Um, and then they'll, 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 they'll step him up and call us Adames. I think I like that one. Adames. Um, and then they'll step him up and, you know, by the end of the year, I'd imagine he'd be fighting, you know, it's summer there when it's winter here. So November, December, he'll be fighting Charlo or Castano. You know, I, I think that's realistic. I really do. I, I think you're going to, and it's not unwarranted. He's earned it. He's 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 eighteen and 0, 14 knockouts. He's got good wins. He's taken stepped up fights. He's done well. He's he's improved. He's he's legitimate. Again, I'm not gonna pick him to win those fights, but he's not gonna be out of his league. He's he's a top ten guy. Now that division is tough. You know, there's J Rock in that division. There's Hurd in that division. There's Laura in that division. There's Lubin and Goucher in that division. There's Jason Rosario in that division. There's Tony Harrison in that division. There's Charles Conwell, who might be the best fighter in that division, who is not getting the love he deserves in that division. Uh, but Zoo has, he's earned it, you know? Um, so i like to see, look, if they're going to get $10 million to fight him, they're going to fight him. Would you fight him for $10 million? Of course you would. Especially if you don't think he's that good, and I, I think he's good. Um, I, I, he doesn't beat all those names I just named, but he probably beats some of them. He doesn't beat Charlo or Castano, in my opinion, but he's not out of his element. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, give your thoughts in the comments. Do you think this is a fight Zoo can win? Do you think he's going to be totally outclassed? Are you impressed with Zoo? Do you think he's a legitimate prospect, or do you think he's just a son of a legend? Do you think he's Campbell Hatton? Do you think he's Shane Mosley Jr.? Do you think he's Chavez Jr.? Although Chavez Jr. was a good fighter, for what it was worth. I mean, he was okay. Um, thoughts, comments below. Let me know what you think. Uh, remember, Quick Hits comes at you twice a day. It's 10 minutes a day. We were on earlier today. We'll be on twice again tomorrow. Um, we'll probably look at Donaire versus Bali. I think we'll look at that tomorrow. That was made official today. Um, unless something else breaks, then we'll cover that. But please like and subscribe, share on all forms of social media. 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Like and subscribe. Uh, hit the Hit the thumbs up button, hit the bell icon, all that good stuff. Um, and please uh, share that link uh, to Taka, uh, the uh, autism community in action. Um, share that if you can. Um, donate to it if you can. Uh, no matter if it's a dollar or whatever. It's whatever little bit is always appreciated. Um, it is March, it, March 5th. It is April 5th. 2021. Ivan Calderon is still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Let's make that change. Uh, let's get the Iron Boy in the class of 2021. Uh, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.